What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to download and install Steam skins so you can customize your Steam app and make it look a little nicer. So first thing we need to do is we need to download 7-zip. If you don't already have 7-zip, you will need this to actually open the zip file that we download later. But once you have this um, application downloaded, you're good to begin. And I'll leave a link to this download in the description, by the way. So once we have 7-Zip, uh, we can head over to steamskins.org. And this is just a website where we can pick from many different Steam skins to, uh, to install. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to use the Metro skin. So I'm going to click Metro skin. And I'm going to scroll down until I see the download button. Once I see the download button here, I'm just going to click it. And I'm going to save the zip file to my desktop. So once it's done downloading, uh, you're going to be able to close your uh, browser and we can begin. So here we have the skin here. As I mentioned before, it is a zip file, which means we need to use 7-zip to extract it. So right click, select 7-zip and extract files here. And if you didn't see that 7-zip option, it's because you, you don't have it installed. But once we have it extracted to the desktop, we're pretty much good to go. All we need to do is move this into the Steam directory. So let's go ahead and find our Steam directory. We'll open up File Explorer. And there's two ways to get to it. I'll show you the long way because this is the way that'll work for most people. Uh, we're just going to click this PC. Then we're going to click Local Disk. Then we're going to click uh, Program Files x86. Then we're going to go ahead and look for Steam. And there it is right there. And once we're in the Steam folder, we can look for the Steam Skins folder. And boom, now we are where we need to be. So that's the long way to get there. What I'll also do is I'll just actually copy this link and leave it in the description below. So this path will actually, all you need to do is copy that path and then put it in this address bar and then hit enter and it'll, it'll take you to the same directory. So once we're in this directory, we're just gonna go ahead and drag the Metro skin into it. And now we've successfully installed that skin. Uh, so we just need to select it in Steam. So let's open up our Steam application, go to the top left and then go to settings. And then we can select interface here and then we can select which skin we want. So we just installed the Metro skin. So I'm gonna click Metro, then I'm gonna click okay. And it's going to say that you need to restart your Steam. That's totally fine, just relaunch it. All right, so Steam is now relaunched and we can see that the Metro theme has been applied and it looks pretty clean if you ask me. So yeah, guys, that's how you install custom Steam skins. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you have any difficulty, I'll try to help you guys out. I know that this tutorial was a little bit confusing, but hopefully it works out for you guys. If it does, let me know and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And poorly written reviews and some stammering drunk who tried to tell him that's uh, that's that's some good good shit, man. I accidentally spoke his first name. On